almost didn't notice the tripod here in my trailer. Hey, what's up? It's Edward White. We're going to do some some video logs of of what it's like to do some carpentry here on the East Coast. I guess we'll call this episode one of many, hopefully, to come. Basically, I own my own little business here on the East Coast of Canada, a small little island we like to call PEI over here. And I've uh, been watching a lot of videos online of of uh, people doing carpentry things and stuff like that and I've been watching a guy called uh, Scott Brown Carpentry from New Zealand I'm pretty sure and great videos love watching them and you know I just like watching trade videos and stuff like that so I said hey why don't we do our own thing here kind of show people what we do on the East Coast in terms of just small business I do kind of high-end renovations I'd like to call it so anyways today we're uh, just in my trailer. We're just gonna do some, I've been wanting for a long time. I got this this five by 10 trailer with a Vino, so it's 12 feet. Um, just a small aluminum trailer. I'll show you here in a sec. And uh, I bought it, bought it used, pretty much brand new. But um, anyways, I've been wanting to put a lot of shelves and stuff in it because you got tools, you know, too many tools uh, when you're on your own business and you got nowhere to put them. So anyways, I uh, built some shelves yesterday and today we're just going to uh, we're just going to carry you along. We're going to do some shelves. I'll show you up here. They're not really shelves, I guess. Uh, cabinets. Anyways, what we're doing today is we're, I'm thinking I'm, I'm going to put some cabinets on top of this guy here. Um, right to the ceiling with doors just for small stuff and, and whatever. Let's get started. to the cabinet stage just real simple um, open edge they're gonna come up to here I'm gonna just gonna cut a simple square out of it it'll be open here um, just because I want that full height I, I want to get the most I can out of the space we have here it's only 12 inches and we're gonna do four of them so you know they're gonna be they're gonna be decently wide um, I'm still deciding if we're going to open the door like an awning style or just sideways because these doors are going to be kind of wide They're going to be annoying to open sideways You know it, it is what it is, but we'll figure that out as we go We'll build the boxes first get them in here and then uh, see what we're working with That was the last cut for all our pieces. Now let's put it together. All right, now it's time for assembly of these little boxes. Uh, we're gonna use, we're just gonna use some small screws, number eights, to, to screw it together. I like to screw it together. I usually like to use like inch and a half, inch and a quarter. So I got a box of one inch here. I'll just countersink it a little heavy, which will be fine. Uh, just using a number eight countersink bit. You can get them at any hardware store. And uh, we got the impact as well. Uh, to put them together, first though, I'm just gonna tack them together. It's my stapler. I got some inch and a half staples in it, 18 gauge. We're just gonna tack it together. It's easier to tack it together with a with a pin gun or something like that. Uh, melamine likes to slide around a lot, so it's just easy. So here it is, here's our box. One of four, but uh, I'll do the rest here in a sec. So as you can see the cut out there in the back. Let's see how it fits in the trailer. Just for a test fit, this is what we're looking at. Pretty tight to the roof here. Oh, it fits like a beauty. Hey, what's going on? All right, so we got our uh, boxes ready to go. I ended up uh, putting edge banding on them. Um, generally what you want to do, I'll show you. 
you want to edge band all your pieces before you assemble the box. I didn't do that. I wasn't sure what I was going to do. I ended up, I did end up edge banding them all. Um, but yeah, you want to edge band before you put them together. It's a lot easier and you get a better finished product. But you can still do it after. Um, it's just a lot harder. <laughs> and then we're just going to rip a strip. I'm just going to rip a strip right here, right along this bottom edge. Just a, I'm just going to do a 45 of melamine just so you don't see the the back edge, I don't feel like edge banding that again because it does take some time. Just so if we put things in here, it's a trailer, right? We don't want them sliding right out, so. And we are complete for now. We got the boxes made. Let's switch the view around here. There they are. Got our uh, anti fall off strips in. No we'll call. You can see how it's the boxes are made, so they're fitting up on this angle here. Very nice. I like it. I do like the look of it. Stuff like this. Throw it in there. Another one. Even uh, got some leftover paint here. This is not the brand I like to use, but uh, look at that. Beautiful. Okay, well that was a that was a fun little project. What kind of storage setups do you like? Cause I'm I'm just kind of learning as I go. I've seen you know I've seen some ideas and stuff like that, and I'm just kind of trying to make something work that that works for me. Everybody has kind of different tools and and you know different needs. They do a little bit of different carpentry. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed and and uh, you know we'll be going around to some jobs and stuff like that and doing different things. So uh, yeah, that channel that I was talking about, uh, Scott Bound. Carpentry, he's a uh, great to watch. I mean, if you've seen me, you've probably seen him anyway. So, uh, I'll put the link down in the description. And uh, yeah, we'll see you in the next one. All right, guys, thanks a lot.